And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for today, Thursday, the 14th of September 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. And we had a mixed and choppy session in the US markets overnight with all major indices, apart from the Dow closing higher. The Nasdaq was the outperformer, pulling back some of the previous day's losses. CPI came in reasonably close to expectations with the influence of oil price impacting on the headline number, which we saw. US futures are mildly positive in early Asian trading. And Asian markets generally positive following that US lead. ASX is towards the highs of the session after consumer inflation expectations. And jobs data are out currently around about 0.3 to the upside with energy and material stocks leading the way. European futures are pointing to a cautious open, but off the lows of the Asian session so far. And the VIX is testing support at pre-pandemic lows. The US dollar traded near neutral today, trading within a tight range on the daily chart, but slightly lower so far today. Gold is managing to hang on to that 200 EMA and it's up slightly in Asia. Copper remains range bound and oil paused around early November highs. Bitcoin continues to be choppy this week. It may test the top of the short term range at 26,500 up again in Asia today. And as we said, we've had some data out of Australia. Later on, we've got Japanese industrial production, the ECB rate decision, which is probably the highlight of the day. Then US jobs, PPI and retail sales this evening. Certainly a busier day today. Let's just check out a couple of charts that caught our eye today. We are looking at the GB pound yen and you can just see since market open, we've just seen this yen strength coming in. We're keeping an eye on this level here at around about 183.60. We think if it breaches that, then we could see a fairly sharp move down around about 60 pips to test 183 where we saw lows here and here over the last couple of days. On the ASX, we're still looking at West Gold. You can see here, we've hit this high now for four days out of the last five at 179. We're still waiting for a breach of that. It is really quite simple. If we breach that, we should see some buying pressure coming in. And if we look at the weekly chart, that could mean we ultimately test $2 over the coming days and weeks. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.